Hello everyone, it's Mr. Woody again. Welcome back. We're here again for lesson number two in Microsoft Publisher. And we're going to be looking at working with documents and some of the customization available with a document. So we're going to start off by um, looking at a very simple document. We'll look at maybe just a blank document. And you know, we've, there's some default things that we can do with this blank document that allow us to kind of customize the way it's going to look and also customize the, the you know, the outcome of what we're going to get. And one of the major sections that we can do that in is the page design. And so we just created a blank document. We haven't changed any of the settings. We haven't looked at any templates or anything like that. We have simply created a new document, eight and a half by 11 landscape ready to go. So we've got this document here and I just want to show you when you go into page design there are several options available to you that you can actually you know set up. So you can choose a color scheme. You also have the ability to modify the margins of your page. So if you drop down this you'll notice that right now we're, we're looking with a moderate margin area. You can choose narrow which narrows out the uh, margins so that they're closer to the edge of the screen. You can also choose wide. Um, so you got some options and you'll notice when you do change those the size of the blue outline, the blue border, that size of that blue border changes. And that blue border is there to kind of give you an idea of where the margins or the edge of the margin would be when you're creating yours. So if we go narrow, now you can see it brings it way out to the outside. Now let's say for instance you didn't want either one of those margins and instead you wanted to create your own custom margins well you can drop down you also have the ability to have no margins at all which would create like a picture print where it prints right to the edge of the page um, depending on the type of printer you have you could do that um, but what if we just want to have some kind of customized margins well you can go into that custom margins and you can actually create um, your margin guides so if I wanted it to be half a centimeter from the edge I could make it that half a centimeter from each edge and maybe I want it a little farther from the bottom because I don't want it to go right to the bottom I'll say one centimeter from the bottom and now you can see I've got these custom edges that are half a centimeter away from the edge of the paper and then a full centimeter away from the bottom and when I click OK you see that result there there's a little more space at the bottom than there is on the edge so you've got some options available to you when you are creating the margins of a document in um, Publisher. Now the margins of a document in Publisher don't really matter too much because you can put an object over the edge of the margin um, but they are more like a guide. They help you kind of figure out where it is that you want to put it. Um, you can also change the size of the page. So right now we're in that 8.5 by 11 sheet, that letter sized sheet. And you notice that I'm working in centimeters. I could be working in inches as well it, to make it easier. Most of us know paper size is based on um, inches, but um, I'm working in centimeters. So we have the option to change the paper size here to whatever we want. We can click on the page setup tab. It will bring us in. Now we can actually change the paper width and height. We can actually modify it to be exactly what we wanted as far as centimeters or inches. We can create the the, the size of paper that we want to create depending on what it is that we're trying to create. So if we wanted to make multiple cards on a page, let's say, we could do it just by changing you know, the paper size. So now I've got you know, nine centimeters height and um, you know, maybe change the width down a little bit and we can maybe fit like nine. So now we could fit actually nine sections on one eight and a half by 11. Now when I have changed that and I click OK, um, it's only going to give me a single document. It's only going to give me a single document, but you'll see that the widths are, everything is kind of aligned the right way. So this is in centimeters, so I'm looking at, you know, seven centimeters wide um, by about um, nine centimeters high. So the, the ruler will adjust. This looks like it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, but it's not. It's actually a much smaller um, smaller sized image. So that's margins um, and paper size. I'm going to return the paper size back to um, a, a normal size. So, so now we're back to that 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. 
the other thing obviously you can do is change the orientation so depending on what you want to do with the with your image this is the landscape setup so now we've got it oriented kind of um, sideways on the page if you will um, or we can bring it back to portrait landscaping which makes it look more upright and kind of normally what we know um, you can also add in pages so um, if we go to the home or sorry go to insert we can insert a page so we can insert a blank page um, we can also I'm, I'm just gonna actually put some really quick text on here and now let's say I want to duplicate this object so I can actually duplicate that page just by click right clicking on the page and clicking insert duplicate page and now you'll notice that both of these pages both have this is a test in the middle um, so I can actually create duplicates of that page over and over again if I wanted to either through the insert tab page and insert duplicate page or uh, and, and by the way this first page is blank I can also insert a duplicate of this blank page just by clicking insert duplicate page when this is selected now the other thing you'll notice about page navigation over here on the left hand side is not only can you add new pages and add things to that um, you can actually insert or move these pages around so let's say we wanted this this is a test page to be right at the top so that's the first page that you see in your um, document so now we've moved it to the front just simply by clicking and dragging it you can see you kinda of get this little ghost image and you can drag it and you can see the bar uh, on your page where you that page is going to be inserted and when you, if you bring the bar all the way up to the very top it will insert that page at the very top so now we've got two of our pages here and then we've got two blank pages and then that page there as well you can also delete a page really easily right click delete now we've deleted that page so if we right click we can delete a page and so now we've, we're back to the three pages all with um, this is a test on it um, the last thing I wanted to show you in this quick video was just how to create guidelines um, guidelines are really valuable when you're um, working with any kind of desktop publishing document because they really help align things on the screen you don't see the guidelines when they're printed out or when you save it as a PDF or whatever whenever you save the document as some other type other than a publisher document you won't see those guidelines but they are really important you can see you've got um, a set of guides that you can actually put out and um, if you remember back to so, so there's some built-in ruler guides that you can actually use so if you had wanted to split the page left right two columns or th three columns or four columns you've got some options to set that up that would help you if you were creating a newsletter for example you might want to use that so now you've got some kind of dividing lines that you can see so when I'm actually putting objects on the screen I've now got these green guidelines that I can use to try and you know help me organize my document um, we've all looked at publisher before and we know the rule of thirds so when we look at a three by three grid now we've got this three by three grid and we can actually utilize that to help us with the rule of thirds and notice if I go in and I change the page orientation to landscape it automatically changes my grids to that new rule of thirds based on a landscape setup as opposed to the rule of thirds or the, the nine section um, division on a regular so you've got some predefined guides already available to you or you can simply drag your own guides out so if you go over to the ruler notice when you're on the ruler and you're hovering over it, it says create a vertical guide so if we click and drag you'll notice that now we're dragging this green line out onto the screen and we can see where it is up at the top ruler All right, so if I want to put it right on the 10 centimeter mark and then I'm gonna put it right kinda of plant it right there and bang now I've got a vertical line right on the 10 centimeter line same thing happens for horizontal lines all you do is click on the ruler and drag and you can actually drag that ruler down to where you want it and you can leave it in a spot that you want it and you can have things aligned to the guides so if I was going to put an image and I'll just show you that really quickly if I was gonna put a picture really quickly on the screen so I can actually have that snap to the guides right so see how as I move my picture 
it will snap to a guide. So now I'm actually I'm trying to drag it, and it won't drag past the edge of that guide even though I'm dragging it a little bit. And that's what the snapping means. So it now snaps. Okay, so snap to guides is also helpful because it can actually have you snapping to a specific area. Um, if you don't like that because you don't want the guide snapping, then just take the align to guides off. And now you'll notice that it won't snap to those objects. So as I'm dragging, it, it doesn't actually stop. It doesn't stop, but you do see when you're actually on an object. Now, what this means when it's clicked align to objects, if we insert another object here, so if I insert a separate picture, if you notice now, see that pink line that comes up that helps us align? Now we know that these two images are perfectly aligned vertically. So we can make sure that our images are kind of lined up in appropriate ways. Um, if we do it this way, now you can see that pink line runs down from the bottom of the objects and it, we actually, it will snap right to the edge of that so that things aren't um, overlapping. And we can actually get rid of that simply by going into those, ticking off that check mark and now you notice even though I'm coming close, it doesn't align to the objects. Um, so personally, when I'm using it, I really do like to have the snap to objects set so that it will actually or align to objects so that it will align my things up and I can actually see those little guidelines. Okay, so that's lesson two, just kind of working with documents and some customization that you can apply to documents. Uh, really simple stuff. Stuff that you do need to know, though, to work forward with Publisher.